How does it feel to have been part of such a huge franchise? It's a little intimidating at first. I mean, the legacy and history that this franchise has built is nothing short of amazing, and I just feel extremely honored to have been given the chance to make a film on a franchise that I have been in love with ever since I was a kid. How have you handled all of the fan backlash? Well, that's what makes Hyper Command fans so awesome. They are some of the most passionate fans of all time. Hyper Command 6 has proven to be quite a divisive film. Some seem to think that it is a masterpiece that takes the franchise into bold and interesting directions, and there are others that think that it spits on what the previous film has set up. When you were writing the script, what was going through your mind? Well, what I wanted to do was make something that felt completely fresh and original. I like stories that take twists and turns you would have never expected. I feel like it's the only way in which this long-running franchise can continue to thrive, by adding new and interesting ideas, and that is exactly what I tried to do. Well, the one thing we can all agree on is that you created a film that took risks. Thank you. Now, whether those risks paid off or not is completely up to the person you talk to. Uh, hello. W where am I? What happened? You're in a car crash. I brought you up here and did everything I could to keep you alive. Well, thank, thank you. I was too much in a hurry to get to Maggie's, I guess. I just took my eyes off the road and swerved. I don't care. And who's supposed to arrive at your office at what time? At 5 o'clock, and he's never made. Have you contacted his family? Yes, and even though I don't know where he is. Now, I don't want to jump to conclusions and say that something bad has happened to him, but... But you just want to make sure. Can I ask you a question? Of course. I do find it odd that his manager has contacted the authorities instead of his family. Why is that? Money, money, yeah. I have, I have uh, five hundred dollars in my wallet or something. I think something like that. Do I look like I need your money? Well, actually, I might need it. No, you took something far more precious to me, something that I loved, and you ruined it. You know my wife, Veronica. What? No, I'm talking about Hyper Command. What about it? You ruined it. Me? Yes. Ah, oh, I know what this is about. You think that I completely trashed Hyper Command Six? You think I ruined one of the most influential sci-fi movie series of all time? Actually, I didn't catch your name. It's Emily. Well, Miss Emily, I'm sorry 
for the pain and frustration I put you through with Hyper Command 6, and I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. You can put the gun down now. Oh, is that what I'm supposed to do? Well, I did just give one of the most heartfelt and sincere apologies I've ever given in my life. That did seem sincere. Thank you. Unfortunately, James, a simple apology is not going to get you out of this. Well, I wouldn't call it a simple apology. The only way you're going to get out of this is by writing the wrongs you've committed. And how exactly am I going to do that? By using this. I'll be honest, I can't hack for shit. You're going to write the screenplay for the seventh hyper command. You're going to ignore everything that just happened in the sixth movie. I will look at the script when you are done. I will approve and you will take the script to your producers and turn it into a movie. Yeah, uh, I don't think, I don't think you're aware of how the film industry works. Are you calling me stupid? Now, Emily, I have never argued against your intellectual capabilities. I was just saying, you might not have the full grasp of the... But, but then again, what do I know? Start typing. Right, right, yeah. Gorillas? Uh, Emily, I, I don't wish to be rude, but I can't really write anything when others are looking. It's not like I'm going to get up and run away. Fine. I'll leave. When I come back, it better be something good. It's going to be the best script that has ever existed. Trust me. It better. Not to mention that. Don't you just hate it? When a piece of hair gets on your tongue? There it is, there it is. It's off. <laughs> no, 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 totally to busy. Wait, what? Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I've not been able to uh, find anything else for your case. Um, let me know if anything comes up. I have to go now. Thank you very much. Mrs. Wilson, what brings you here? It's been a week now. I'm still no sign of James Cooper. Look, I've, I've been trying everything I can to try and find him, but I've been very busy with other cases. Like what? Well, uh, I'm not really at liberty to discuss other people's cases with you. Cooper is somewhere out there. You haven't done anything to help. Well, I would beg to differ. Oh yeah? What do you have so far? I mean, well, I'm not at liberty to discuss police activity with... Okay, I'm wasting my time. Okay, look, 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 look. We, we've been trying our best to find him, honestly. So where is he? Okay, I'll be right back. Where are you going? Well, I mean, I'm all at bubblegum. It was a joke. Okay. I'm gonna go look for him. I will let you know if I find anything. Oh, okay. I might, um... this script. Then start over. Can, can you at least wait until I'm done and then you can decide what it... Start over. Why are you doing this, Emily? Wait, where are you going? It's dinner time. 
Ah, oh, thank God, I'm starving. What is this? Dinner. Yep. I'm going to die. Please, let me finish my coffee. Nice. This man, have you seen him before? Never seen a guy in my life. Excuse me? My dad. He was the one who introduced me to Hyper Command. He saw the first one when he was about seven years old. And then when I turned seven, he showed me the first three films before taking me to see the fourth one later. He loved those films, just like I grew to love them. They ended up making up most of his childhood. And ultimately, mine too. But fell ill, all we did was we watched them. He used to tell me how I was the smart and trustworthy Lieutenant Garrison, and he was the strong and bold commander of Pink Pearls. He used to tell me he had all these great ideas for a new film, and he never But you did. And what do you do? You go and ruin it. I mean, the world, the themes, the rules, they're all there, and you just ignore them. I mean, it completely boggles my mind how you could do something so idiotic. You took everything the film stood for, and you just threw it away! I just wanted to make something different. You took Lieutenant Garrison and turned him into a traitor. Made him a villain for absolutely no reason! My father looked up to Commander Hank. And what do you do? You turn him into a coward. A traitor who abandons his crew and family! People change. Really? That's your excuse? Look, I'm not trying to... Hey, Emily, I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to give any excuses. I, just, I'm almost done with the script. I'll make everything the way it used to be. <coughs> I just, I wish it wasn't like this. I wish you hadn't made that last movie. I wish Dad could tell me what to do. I just wish for once things would just go my way. I know how you feel. Your wife and daughter. What about them? I'm guessing you really miss them right now. Yeah, I miss them. But I doubt they're missing me. I'm always working, but I rarely do I have time to spend with them. If I were to guess, they probably think I left them to, I don't know, go to the beach or something, and they could care less whether I come back home or not. Thank you. 
Yes, yeah, so I'm here to ask you a couple questions. Have you seen this man? No, why? Okay, um, well, he's been missing for about a week now, and um, he was last seen driving around these streets. Do you mind if I take a look around? No, no, of course not. Alrighty. Um, can I come in? Yeah, of course. I'm sorry. No problem, no problem. Strange thing for something like that to happen. How come? Stuff like that never happens around here. Well, it's a strange world. You never know what's gonna happen. With all the news going around, you just never know what's gonna happen. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch your name. It's Emily. Well, Emily, times like these you have to stay alert. You never know what kind of person you're going to do. Hey, would you like some coffee? You know what, I will have some coffee. Thank you for the coffee. I'm better be leaving. I really hope it wasn't too much of a bother. It's quite all right. You gotta do what you gotta do. All right, well, you have a nice afternoon. What was that? What was what? A loud noise. I just heard a loud noise like hitting the ground or something. I don't know what you're talking about. Probably just rats. That sounds like a big rat. Please don't open the door. Mr. Cooper? Oh my god! Oh no. No. No, 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 no. It's not my fault. I, t I told him not to, to come in here. I mean, it's not my fault. I'm sorry. I, I told you not to open the door. And you, you couldn't have stayed quiet for a few more seconds, could you? Is he dead? Is he dead? I don't know. Why don't you ask him? Check, check his pulse. He's alive. What do I do? I don't want to go to jail. Emily, please. It's, it's, it's not too late to stop this. I promise you, I, I won't tell anyone what happened. No. I can't go back now. Not after all I've done. I'm too far in this. Besides, I don't trust you. Emily, please. No. I'm not the villain. That's you. I'm the hero. I'm the one who's going to make everything right. Okay, Emily. Fine, fine. I, I'm the villain. You're the hero. You're going to fix this. Let's just, let's just talk this over like, like civilized... Mr. Cooper? Hmm? What happened? Mm. I, I can't understand you. <laughs> Emily, wh why, are you, why are you bleeding? What happened? I'm sorry, officer. They threatened to kill me and Mr. Cooper if mm. I didn't comply. <laughs> Who's they? I, I don't know exactly. They kind of showed up here last week with Mr. <laughs> Cooper all beat up and... They've been living in my house ever since. Savages. Well, don't worry. I've already started thinking about a couple of ideas to get us out of this pickle. I've been in situations far worse than this, and I've always come out on top. What? Uh, I'm awake. What's happening? Oh. <clears throat> yeah, you have to say it. You can't say anything. Mm. Helpful. Yes, you have! No! Please don't kill me! No! Police for you, savages! Yes, I'm calling to report some loud.
loud noises coming from inside a house. Either there's a couple in there having way too much fun or something bad is happening. What have you done to Emily? Don't worry about her. We've already dealt with her. Now, does anyone know you're here? No. Decide what to do with the gear. It's fake. Hmm? The gun, it was a fake. Hmm? Yeah, you didn't see the orange tip? Hmm. Look, when it comes to telling the difference between a real gun and a fake one, you can't fool me. That was no more of a gun than you can get at Party City. Hmm. Okay, now here's the plan. When he comes back, you're going to distract him. In the meantime, I'm going to... I'm sorry, James, but it looks like I'm going to have to get rid of you. Hopefully this won't hurt too badly. <laughs> hey Siri! How to properly stab a body? <laughs> I'm awake. James! The gun is fake, James! Don't worry! You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Cooper? Ugh. You know, I, I don't really want to be rude or anything, but you could speed it up a, bit, a little bit there. Shut up. Right, be careful, don't cut me. There you go. Oh, thank you. Uh. Emily, you're alive? What? Well, what's happening? Jesus Christ. Okay, come on, we gotta go. Come on, come on, come on. Hey. What? What is it? What? My legs. What, what about? Oh. Right, they're like broken or something. Okay, come on. <laughs> Emily, Emily, stop. Look around. Look at what you're doing. You're chasing a guy who can't even walk because of a stupid movie. It's not just a movie. Yes, Emily, it is just a movie. Just, this has gone far enough. Just stop, please. Don't make this any more worse than it is. Please, drop the axe. I told you, things never go the way I want them to. Thought I knew what I was doing. Guess I was wrong. Do I consider myself a hero? Mm, I don't know, maybe. 
Does it get exhausting having so many people wanting my autograph? A little bit. Cut. Okay, here you go. Thank you for signing the police report. No problem, no problem. So, uh, see they're uh, making a documentary about, about me and my heroics. Pretty, pretty cool, right? Well, well, you don't, you don't have anything to worry about. They, I already said cut. They stopped recording. Stop, you guys stopped recording, right? 